Neutron stars are some of the densest known objects in the universe. Imagine the mass of an entire star contained within a range of around 10 kilometers. With such high densities, bizarre quantum effects need to be considered. As the star is trying to collapse, eventually you reach a point when you cannot collapse it further due to Pauli's exclusion principle, which states that no two fermions can occupy the same quantum state. So suddenly you reach this highly compressed state in which there's no space for any extra particles. And since the particle's location is extremely well defined, we need to invoke the uncertainty principle. According to this, if a particle's location is extremely well defined, its momentum will be extremely uncertain. This really is known as a Fermi gas and it can have some bizarre consequences. For instance, you can have a gas which is extremely cold, but the actual particles are moving at a very high speed due to that Fermi energy stemming directly out of the exclusion principle. In order to compress that, tremendous forces are required to control that particle's momentum. This is extremely different to a classical gas in which the pressure is well proportional to the temperature. On the other hand, the pressure exerted by degeneracy matter is only very weakly dependent on temperature. In fact, if we were to approximate the matter inside of a neutron star but an ideal Fermi gas, the pressure will be given by this expression. And notice that this term, n over v, the number of particles per unit volume, will be the dominant term. In a neutron star, this n over v term is actually probably the biggest it could ever be outside of a black hole. Even though these pressures are impossible to recreate on Earth, using this device right here, we can reach millions of bars and that's why you should watch this video right over here to see exactly how that's done.